fossils are the preserved remains or traces of animals, plants, and other organisms from the remote past, usually from more than 10,000 years ago. This is a perfect project to tie into science or history if you're looking for a cross-disciplinary art lesson. Hello, I'm Mary Skydema for Blick Art Materials. In this project, students will create three-dimensional fossils of animals, plants, or insects. Using just armature wire, a canvas panel, tissue papers, glue, and pastels, students can create a fantastic faux fossil. We're going to start with a piece of paper the size of the canvas panel we'll use for our project. Make a simple drawing with pencil to fit within the panel and trace over it with a black marker. Next, we'll cut a piece of armature wire. This is a very soft, pliable wire that bends easily. However, for your youngest students, chenille stems can work as a substitute. All we're going to do is lay the wire on top of our drawing and bend it to follow the contours. Flatten the wire as much as possible. Keep it flat onto the paper. Once the wire contour is finished, we're going to glue it to the canvas panel. And details can be added with smaller pieces, shorter pieces of wire. So we're going to glue this to the panel. And once it's completely dry, we're going to brush slightly diluted glue over the entire panel. I'm going to get in between the wires and the entire surface of the panel. The glue is diluted just enough to just make it easy, easy to spread. Onto this, I'm going to place a whole a piece of tissue paper over the whole panel. If you're using um, a larger panel, you can do this in sections, tear it into pieces. So I'm going to push it down with my fingers and just take more glue and really push the tissue down onto the top of the wire and over the whole canvas panel. We're going to let it wrinkle naturally. And like I said, if you're doing a larger panel, you can tear the, the tissue into smaller pieces. Repeat this process at least two more times with additional la layers of tissue and glue. The layers don't have to dry in between. It will all just stick together. You could choose to use a textured paper for your final layer to add even more interest. After the panel has dried completely, you might want to trim any tissue that overlaps the edges. Now we're going to make this look like an authentic fossil slab. Using pastels, we're going to color the surface of the panel. So I'm just going to rub this on and then use a dry brush to blend the color. You see how that picks up the, the wrinkling of the tissue and really accents the fossils. If you want to use darker colors to create shadows, that's a great idea just to kind of emphasize the lower areas. And just continue to blend the layers with the dry brush. As a final step, I like to use a very dark color, a dark gray, to just go over the, the raised edges of the wire. And you can also brush that in. Lastly, you're going to want to apply a spray fixative to the fossil panel to set the pastels. There are other options for making fossils, such as using twigs, leaves, shells, molding materials, and clays. Make sure to check out our lesson plan PDF and materials list on our website for these details. Thank you for joining me for fantastic faux fossils.